TitleMatchNetwork.com. Oh, I mean, there we go. Yeah. Nikki Duke is breaking up some of this. If, if this wasn't personal before, it certainly is now. Yeah, and is that too just part of the mind games of Rebecca Scott? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rebecca Scott I might have been trying to use a chair. He I may have thought correct. Again, I don't believe the bell has sounded yet. But Rebecca Scott wasting little time. Yeah, technically the, the match was not begun. Oh, jeez! And Rebecca Scott, I think, just got a face full of chair after being drop kicked by Nikki Duke. Well, it's about time someone put Rebecca Scott on notice. Yeah, Rosaria Elsa just got out of harm's way. No formal introductions needed. We're getting right into it. The bell is sounded. The matchup is on. Nikki Duke now. Wow. Becca Scott, though, hung on and instead kicking back at the quad. Sling blade from RJS. Look in the leg, looking to retain early out the gate, even after suffering at the hands. That chair that was Rebecca Scott was trying to use against Nikki Duke. Duke saying no, she will not relent, even after... Rebecca Scott trying to choke her out. You know, I must admit, Alyssa, you know, Rebecca Scott's been on this mean streak since winning the Global Fight Championship. But, you know, she's been effective. That's worked for her ever since Venom. We've seen a different look to Rebecca Scott. And again, these two used to be friends. You know, they have a mutual friend in Megan Bain, but obviously... You know, title on the line, all friendship aside. And speaking of Megan Bain, has been announced for the Battle of the Throne tournament coming up on March 11th. But by that time, could we have a new global fighting champion? It's very possible. Again, things could get really interesting if Nikki Duke takes home the victory here tonight. But again, Rebecca Scott's been virtually unstoppable. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that back handspring, back elbow, but oh, right into a suplex and dumped by RJS. Hooks the leg. Does Rebecca Scott? Not quite. Again, Rebecca Scott has been, like I said, virtually unbeatable since transforming herself last summer. She's had multiple title defenses, and each time she has somehow retained this more ruthless aggression we've been seeing of her, now just pushing, shoving Nikki Duke down. Not an thing insult to injury. And that's the thing, LJ, that I think makes it so disarming is that those weren't really personal matchups. That was just Rebecca defending her global fighting championship that we've seen this ruthlessness and this, this grit and determination. Now we add in the factor of personal beef between these two competitors. And I wonder what that might bring out of both of them, both RJS and Nikki Duke. These two have trained together, Alyssa. And now I, I don't, don't think Nikki Duke approves of this new attitude from RJS, but... That doesn't matter. The gold is on the line here. That's what matters. Gold may be on the line, but it's hard to look past someone that you've known, gosh, for your entire career in the sport. Someone that you trained alongside, someone that you know so well. And now Nikki Duke wiping out RJS. Scott now barreling in. Forearm shot. Scott not allowing Nikki to too much breathing room now takes her down in the middle of the ring opposite the cover not quite enough we talk about the aggression of Rebecca J Scott but there's a certain amount of determination and drive that we're also seeing out of Nikki Duke Nikki Duke brings in incredible athleticism gymnastic background and also some heavy striking as well whereas Rebecca Scott, we've seen incorporate more of her ground game, submissions, a little bit of BJJ influence as well. Oh, front handspring and into the clothesline now, hooking the leg. 
Not enough. Re Rebecca Scott refusing. You're going to have to pry this championship from her cold hands. They keep going up top. Oh, and just, just that, that shove of the calf. Rebecca Scott throwing Nikki Duke off of her balance and now is tangled up. Nikki hung up. Rebecca going. Look at the way she was stomping on the shins of Nikki Duke, but Nikki Duke able to throw Rebecca off. I think that's all the testament. damage that might have done. Yeah, I think that's a testament to Nikki's athleticism and being able to kind of contort her body in beneficial ways in this matchup. But certainly how much damage has already been done. The way that Rebecca Scott was bearing down and just really digging her heels into the shins and the calf. Now a kick to the midsection from Nikki Duke. Suplex delivered. Can she make it to the cover to capitalize in time? Hooks the leg. Not enough. RJS kicks out. Global fighting champion continues fighting. Both competitors making their way back to a vertical base, but look at all that's been taken out of these competitors. Oh, DDT'd. Rebecca Scott now off of the ropes. Oh, some stomp action from the global fighting champion who hooks the leg to retain. Kick out a defiant kick out at one there from Nikki Duke. She said it's going to take a lot more than that. Now wrenching her back up to her feet by the hair, Rebecca Scott and Nikki Duke are dishing them out to one another. Oh, delivered! Hooks the leg. Oh, but the placement of Rebecca Scott now having to shift positioning. And you can see that in her mind, Vicky Duke knows that that moment, that pinfall has passed. Unfortunate kind of ring capacity, Rebecca there in the corner. That was just, uh, might have been some luck for some Rebecca J. Scott, but unfortunately, Nikki Duke now has to regroup. Whoa, 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 whoa. No way, no way into the tombstone pile driver. Hooks the leg, does RJS. And that is it. Here's your winner, and still, CCW Global Fighting Champion, Rebecca Scott. Did you see the look on Rebecca Scott's titlematchnetwork.com? Introducing first from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the reigning. Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion, the Virtuosa, Diana Purrazzo. And introducing her opponent, hailing from San Juan, Puerto Rico. She is the reigning and defending Ladies Night Out Champion, all Elite Wrestling Superstar, Eva Lee. All right, and here we go. We are getting set for our main event and Ladies Night Out. We are live in Beaumont, Texas at Ford Park. The Ladies Night Out Championship is on the line. There you see it, that is what it's all about. The current Ladies Night Out Champion, Eva Lee putting that title on the line against the current Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion, Deanna Perrazzo, two of the very best women's wrestlers in all the world today, going one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network. I am Sammy Kiss. I've been calling the action all night long. Thank you for joining us. We want you to use that hashtag, the show, on social media. Talk about all the great action you can always see right here on Title Match Network. And there's a nice takedown from the challenger. Just like that, you see the champion, Eva Lee, slipping out, and Deanna Peraza is signaling that might have been over just like that. Two great technical wrestlers going out of here tonight. 
Got the virtuoso Deanna Perrazzo who considers herself a submission wrestling specialist. She hooks in that Fujiwara armbar. There you see already working that left arm with the champion Eva Lee. So if Deanna Perrazzo is able to put in that Fujiwara armbar, it's going to be all over. We're going to have a new champion. There's Eva Lee trying to, to slide out of this, but Deanna Perrazzo maintaining wrist control. And there's some stiff kicks. Eva Lee is able to create some separation. But again, working over that arm. Here's the first cover. Got a one count out of it. And again, Deanna right back on that arm. No! no. Turn fire from Deanna. Up oh, she gets caught though. And he believes drops the challenger down. Deanna working over that arm. She might have just might have just pissed off the champion. Oh, there's a stiff kick right to the chest and another one. You don't want to mess with Eva Lee, who's become the face of Ladies Night Out. Oh, you see Donna going again for that arm. Yeah. Oh, Fun face lock goes to the middle rope. Oh, it drops. Drops Deanna with a DDT. Goes for the cover. Great finds the near leg. Got a two count out of it. Just like that. Now Ivelisse mounting Deanna Perrazzo. Ivelisse has become the face of Ladies Night Out. I mean, who could ever forget? Oh, here's another cover. Looks far leg again. Who could forget that incredible matchup between Ivelisse and Kira Hogan in the steel cage of Ladies Night Out 3. And it was at Ladies Night Out 8 where Ivelisse defeated Miranda Alizé to become the very first Ladies Night Out champion. Stiff kick right to the face. Cover got a two count. I don't like you, man. <laughs> Again, you see the champion tend to that arm, but she's just laying it in. Title Match Network and Ladies Night were trying to bring you the best action as long as we've been a long road to get here. Finally, the return on Title Match Network. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to check out the last Ladies Night Out event, Ladies Night Out Night is available for free on the Title Match Network YouTube channel. I'm here tonight has been a long time coming, and you know that Eva does not want to return to Ladies Night Out and walk out with anything less than the Ladies Night Out Championship. What would it mean for Deanna Perrazzo who finally gets out of it? A nice arm drag to walk out not only as the Impact Wrestling Women's Champion, but also the Ladies Night Out Champion is laying the boots into the into Eva Lise. We got some Impact Wrestling versus AEW action going on here. Powers whip, Eva Lise reverses. She gets met. Up. Oh, and a big German suplex pulling Eva Lise up like an accordion. This is the kind of action you really see here at Ladies Night Out, too. The absolute best. A kick right to the solar plexus. Going for another knee right to the face. And the champion is dazed. That might be it. One. No. Only got a two count. Only got a two count. Let's go, Deanna Claus is one of the absolute best. She has been the face of that knockouts division for some time now. She wants to take over as the face here at Ladies Night Out. And now we're coming to blows back and forth. These two women are going. Neither one holding it back. Here's some fire from Deanna Perrazzo. Eva Lee's trying to create some separation. And Deanna meets her. Back and forth we go. Here comes the Virtuosa. Ducks under. Oh, and both thinking the same thing, colliding in the middle. Now both women are down. And the referee will start her count. Ladies Night Out Championship is on the line. This is your Ladies Night Out main event. We've seen some epic contests here tonight, some great action. 
two best in the game. Oh, and taking her down does the champion Eva Lise. Return fire from Deanna. Back for the goal. It's a bicycle kick. Non stop action here in her main event. Another armbar. Oh, she's going for it. She's going for the Fujiwara armbar. Can she stitch it in? Can she bar that arm? She straightens up. <laughs> Evil has got to get to the rope, and she rolls, the, what, no, she rolls all the way to her back. Hooking that bottom rope. Forcing, forcing Gianna to let go of the hold. Here's another cover. You can see Evely's clutching that left arm now, arguing with the referee. Some of the fans here are saying that might have been three. It's the referee's discretion. This match will continue. And oh, Jenna reverses it again back into the arm bar. The Fujiwara armbar is cinched in. This is it. Can the champion hold on? She's in the middle of the ring. She's far away from the Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Miranda Alize. And now the referee calling for the bell. What the hell? Now Miranda Alize attacking Deanna Perrazzo. We've seen some history. And now. Both ladies, Miranda and Eva Lise, taking the boost to Deanna. And oh, and here comes Jordan Grace, also of Impact Wrestling, coming to the aid of the Impact Wrestling champion, Deanna Perrazzo. We know that Eva Lise, along with Diamante Las Sicarias, has taken Miranda Alize under their wing. This is a terrible shame that this championship contest had to end like this. I mean, we were sure to have a new champion in Deanna Perrazzo. Jordan Grace staring a hole. And the champion, Eva Lee, is looking for the official word from, from the referee here. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has declared the winner of this contest. As a result of a disqualification, the winner, Deanna Perrazzo. However, due to the fact that the title cannot change hands on a disqualification, still the ladies' night out champion, Eva Lee. for Amira here tonight. And her opponent, sponsored by Ringside Society, she is your VWR champion, the Renaissance woman, Kayon! And this is what it's all about, that VWR championship. Kayon, who has spent a good chunk of her reign defending that belt from Rachel Rose now faces an international competitor. She faced off against Kylan King at Rise of the Vixens 3. She is a fighting champion, and this is going to be a test. That is right. High on strong, strong title defenses every time. Well, high on is world traveled. She's been to the UK. That's where she and Amira first met up, has traveled on excursion to Japan. 
There's not a whole lot of places that our champion has not been. And here tonight, she is defending that championship. Show of respect there. As I said, these two wrestled in the UK when Hyon was on her UK tour. Now, over here in the States, in Texas, Amira on her Texas tour. Yeah, Amira making a couple stops here in Texas. She would love to uh, take the VWR Championship back to the UK, that's for sure. Much better souvenir than a uh, shot glass at uh, Bush Intercontinental Airport. <laughs> As we see Amira. Amira and Hyon here jockeying for position over who can control. Oh. A little bit of flourish from Amira there. Hyon, looks like she was going for the roll up. Amira pops up off the ropes. Oh! Planted there. High on a master of so many styles. They call her the Renaissance Women for, for a reason. Oh! Oh! Vicious high kick from Amira. Now putting the boots in the corner. Sorry, Off the ropes. The middle. Amira definitely impressing here so far. That is right, these two met last weekend. Oh! oh. For Bronco another one Buster. of Hyon's, for another one of Hyon's titles that she holds. And I'm sure they have adjusted their game plan since then. Into the cover, one, two. Just a two count. Yeah, Emily, you're definitely right. Okay. Both of these women okay. are so meticulous in their planning that I couldn't see either of them not going back and watching their previous encounters over and over again, looking for a weakness, looking for something to change the particular outcome. Oh. Oh. Very nice reversal by Hyon. Yeah, Hyon, a master of situational awareness, to put it lightly. Oh! Ooh. Sweet God. They heard that one downtown. These two are friends, right? They seemed like they were friends. They had that show of respect, show of sportsmanship. I tell you what, my, any of my friends hits me like that, I'm hitting them with my car. Oh my God, I'm so you can't I guess escalate it's a, from that. It I just, guess it's a good thing for High on that Amir doesn't have her car over here. I don't know. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> Amira thought she had gotten out of a situation and walked right into that one. Oh, driving that knee right to the spine and now applying that chin lock. High on with so much aggression, but you've got to remember, this is for one of her championships. So you know she's going to fight with everything she has to keep that championship. Right, high on the face of this company, carrying the torch for VWR. That title means everything to her. She's not going to let it go easily. As we said at the start of this contest, this match means a lot to both women. Oh. Ooh. Amira off the ropes there. Like a rolling senton. And there. Over the cover. Just using all of the body weight to try to keep high on down. Didn't, hit, didn't hook the leg. Might have been a difference maker there. But high on so quick to recover. We talked about high on being as she drops the leg. Kick out it too. We talked about high on being the reality of wrestling diamonds division champion. She is also a trainer at reality of wrestling. 
So you want to talk about cardio and conditioning. There's not anybody in a tier above high on whenever it comes to readiness for the ring. Absolutely. And world traveled, as we mentioned, been to the UK. She's been to Japan. I've been to Florida once. I have not been to Florida. You're not missing much. Oh. Roll through. High on maintaining control. Knee lifts. Almost Muay Thai style. Just pure aggression on the part of High on. Hooks the leg. One, two. Nope, not enough to put Amira away just yet. Oh. Up close and personal. Both women just exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. And now high on again. Just contorting me right here. Referee check it on Amira. The crowd. Trying to will Amira back to her feet. They are loving what they're seeing. They know exactly what they see here, which is two world-class level talents competing for one of the top prizes in independent women's wrestling. Oh. Amira drops down. Trying to get herself worked back into this thing. Oh, high on. Out of the corner. Went for it. Nobody home. Amira had it well scouted, and now. Oh, powerful clothesline and another. And there's the kick off the ropes. Sliding attack to the back of the deck. Now the running knee lift in the corner. Hayat is reeling. And Amira going for the cover. But Hayat able to get that shoulder up. These two do know each other so well. And you can tell. Face crusher. Hayat. Rolling to the outside, looking to catch her breath. These two battling on the rig apron there, precariously perched. High on, shoulder tackle through that middle rope. Sunset flip, roll up, one, two. Gets a two count out of it. Oh, and high on tossing high on her into that. Her in the corner. She's calling for it. Oh, CTD. That could be it. Planted, center of the ring. High on, hooks the leg, one, two. And Amira gets the shoulder up. That is the fighting spirit that you love to see in title matches like this. Everything on the line. And now we have a chance for Ireland. We're going to get a good old ole, ole, ole in here. <laughs> oh, oh. high on. Calling for it. Could be looking for beauty. Oh. Mira had it well scouted. Oh. Almost had it. Two count there. Stiff kick to the side of the head. Amira might have this in the bag. Oh. oh snap, DDT. 
Amir going Amir for the hooks cover. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Oh! That was as close to a new champion as we will ever see without that hand coming down. Ion, I'm sure that was probably just muscle memory at that point. Just pure instinct. As Amira looks like she could be ready to put this thing away. She's got high on days. Not something we see too often. Wheelbarrow. High on with the counter. And there's oh. the beauty sleep. Good night. Hooks the leg. That will One, be it. two, three. There and Hyon retains the VW R Championship. Rachel has had several opportunities to get that championship back and has come up short. So a win against Stephen Wolf tonight might put her back in a title hunt. The fact that people still cheer this woman just confuses me to no end. That is definitely split. But they're howling for the wolf here tonight, too. This crowd is definitely split between the two of them. Rachel's attitude never ceases to amaze me, I swear. That's true, these two went back and forth on Twitter when this match was announced. Yeah, Rachel. Steven with some strong words, Rachel saying, you're, you're not your wife, so I'm not worried about you. Oh. Maybe she should be. Oh, she definitely, definitely should be. Oh. Discount Stephen Wolf. Rachel didn't like that. Rachel could dish out the sass, but sometimes she really can't take it. Isaac telling her to get back in the ring. This thing is uh this thing's gonna happen. Rachel very slow to get in the ring here. I've noticed Rachel tends Steven to talk. eager to get this match underway. As well he should. Rachel talks a lot of trash. She loves to talk a big game, but whenever it comes time to, uh, whenever it's go time, sometimes Rachel. Oh! oh. Planting Rachel. Yeah, Steven came here for a wrestling match. I don't know what Rachel's here for. Now there you see Stephen Wolf applying pressure to the wrist, working that arm. Rachel with the agility. And now taking control herself. Stephen with some agility of his own. Stephen probably one of the most athletic individuals you'll ever see step into that ring. So. If Rachel wants to go toe to toe athletic wise, she's gonna be she's gonna be in for a rude awakening. Steven back to his feet, maintaining wrist control. One thing you'll notice here too, Rachel is not exactly at a size advantage. That is true, which is something she generally has for the most part. She's one of the taller women in this industry. Yeah, Rachel definitely has 
a significant build that puts her at an advantage in most situations, but against Steven Wolf, they are pretty evenly matched up in terms of size and power. Oh! Oh! Explosive arm drag. And another. There. Oh. There you see the agility and athleticism of Stephen Wolf on display. Hops to the second rope. Oh, Stephen with some mind games. But oh. Rachel. Rachel playing dirty there. Steven. Gets him rug up in the corner. Oh, and there's the drop kick. Pat and Rachel Rose right there. Is Rachel trying to get a chance started for herself? I believe she is. It worked. Why? Am I taking crazy pills? Someone might be. Just back and forth. Rachel trying to take Steven off of his feet. Rachel with that boot across Steven's neck. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Steven operating here with a surgically repaired neck. That is right. Rachel knows that. Don't oh. think that Rachel doesn't know that. Oh no, I'm, it's, it, it, he was very open about it. I'm sure that she is in, included that into her game plan. There were questions as to whether Stephen Wolf would ever be able to compete in a ring again, and yet here he is. But Rachel wisely finding a target. Stephen really needs to uh, follow the advice of the Wu-Tang Clan and protect his neck here tonight. That he does, Jacob. Oh. Rachel telling everyone to hush. Oh! Just trying to turn Stephen Wolf's chest into hamburger with those chops. Oh! oh. Double oh. and Stephen shrugging it off. Saying, bring it. Oh, oh. vertical suplex. Rachel is up. Oh. oh. Rachel. Fighting out of it. As I've said, those long legs of Rachel Rose oh. often an advantage. Steven thought he had an opportunity there, but Rachel dodges and now draped over that middle rope. He's in a precarious position. Leg lift. Dropping that leg across the back of the neck of Steven Wolf. Yeah, Rachel Rose. She has a repertoire, she knows how to use it. She sees an opportunity, she's gonna take it. I don't like her personally, but I will never discount what she does in the ring. Yes, we are all very well aware of your, your disdain for the Queen of House Rose. It's not so much disdain as it is disappointment, because at one point I actually did believe Rachel to be the future of women's wrestling. Instead, she's just a dark spot that we'd like to forget her potential. Oh, oh. Stephen with the cover. Her potential is always overshadowed by her attitude. As we're seeing here, Rachel getting a little flustered, trying to go after that, trying to put the boots to the neck. Steven shoving her off. Rachel clubbing blows to the back. Clothesline does not let go. Short arm just maintaining control. Steven down on one knee. Rachel went for it again. Steven ducks off the ropes. Oh. oh, Rachel went for a head scissors. Steven said no. Steven caught her. He's got her up. Oh. 
plants her face first, center of the ring. Got some real elevation on that one. And now Steven just waiting, picking his spot. Springboard. Oh! oh! Into the super kick. He caught all of that one flush. Absolutely, both competitors down. That might have been all Rachel had left to give. Steven, the first of the two to his feet. Rachel not far behind. Now Rachel just throwing shots. Look at the aggression. Steven saying that's all you got. Oh! The disrespect from the Steven. queen we're so used to. Steven shoving her full force into that corner. And now the back elbows. Suplex, center of the ring. Cover one, two. Rachel kicks out. I think Steven might have had enough of Rachel's nonsense here. Oh, Rachel flips out of it. Roll up. Steven thought he might have maneuvered out, but got a swift kick for his trouble. Rachel off the ropes. Oh. Steven caught her. Both of these competitors dazed. Steven off the ropes. Looking for a 619. Rachel had it scouted. There's the spear. And if she can cover, that might be it. One, two. No, Steven able to kick out. And Rachel doesn't like it. Of course she doesn't. Not sure she what thought she, she was going to be able to put him away. I'm not sure what Rachel actually likes. I only know her dislikes. Well, they are. There's a and now Rachel just going after the back of Steven's neck. As we said, that surgically repaired neck, Rachel knows that's a weak spot. Rachel knows. Oh. oh. Timber, and she is down. Steven reeling a little bit, but. That vicious chop from Steven. Rachel trying to go outside. Steven says, no, 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 we're not doing that. Oh. Rachel drapes him over that top rope. Oh, Rachel, what are you doing? No. Rachel. Come on. Come on. No. Under the no. Green comes no. Out with the chair. Isaac, please stop her. Isaac. Yes, thank you. That's why Isaac is the best of the business. Oh. Oh, and down goes Rachel. Now Steven. Looking to put this thing away. Got Rachel up. Oh, oh just collision. Oh. Isaac tumbles Everybody to the outside. Down. Isaac outside. Oh. oh, Rachel, low blow. Isaac getting back into the ring. I'm not sure he saw it. Rachel off the ropes and off with his head. That's got to be it. Damn it. One, two, three. Rachel Rose. Rachel with a strong win. A win over Stephen Wolf. TitleMatchNetwork.com.
and her presence is just second to none. All right, and maybe I'm changing my pick. I am just looking at Freya, and I might have to choose her. Six feet tall, all power, all muscle, and again, this is a four-way matchup. We are getting started here with maybe a little four-way knuckle lock. Oh, but Diamante says no. Going to work, Diamante and Freya. Crisscrossing here. Colby and Amber Nova trying to turn things around and Colby with a drop kick, but still not enough to take Freya off her feet. And the strength of Freya tossing Colby Max to the outside. Now we have Freya and Amber Nova isolated in the ring. And Amber going for a sunset flip, but Freya says, heck no, punch to the head. And now just wrenching Amber up by the neck. Amber Nova though with the head scissors, finally, finally taking Freya the Slayer off her feet. And now Amber Nova coming in real hot, went for maybe a monkey flip, but got caught, turned around, and now trying to fight her way out of this. Amber Nova, big crossbody, but oh, got caught. And a big swinging backbreaker. The power of Freya on display, but here comes Colby Max. Again, just 18 years old, youngest competitor in this matchup with the biggest opportunity of her career, breaking up the pin and now she might be in trouble. Oh, but wait, Colby Max relentless, fighting her way out, dropping Freya to a knee. Colby hits the ring, but wait, Diamante was right there and Colby not scared and now just ate a big boot. That distraction from Diamante put a stop to that flurry from Colby Max, and now we have Freya back in control. But Diamante on the apron, trying to enter into this matchup. Freya with the cover. Diamante breaking it up. And again, this is, to me, the most difficult thing about being in one of these four-way matches. Because it is one fall to a finish. Diamante going for a Russian leg sweep and Freya fighting it. Amber Nova with the assist. Finally, Freya goes down. Amber with the pin, but Diamante takes offense to that because you know she kind of did a lot of the work too. That was her pin. And now these two going at it. And as I was saying, in these four-way matchups, keep in mind that it is one fall to a finish. Double Lariat by Freya, and that means that you know you could get pinned, or you could pin someone and have that pinfall broken up without you even realizing it. You really have to have eyes in your back of your head at all times. And the back of Colby Max's head is about to make impact with that turnbuckle. Freya, huge cannonball, so impressive as an athlete. Six feet tall. And now just scooping up Colby. And we're, uh-oh, this is dangerous. Freya has Colby in arms and is trying to start this climb. And Colby is fighting it, but I don't know if she's gonna be able to overcome the power. But wait, Diamante and Amber Nova. Double power bomb and Colby Max falling into a crossbody, but no. Now it's Nova and Diamante, and Diamante's on her feet. She is fired up, but she didn't see Colby Max from behind. Big knee to the face. Colby all fired up, but Freya. Oh, with a choke bomb. Freya with the cover, this has to be it. Oh, Amber Nova out of nowhere with the breakup. Freya not happy about that. Amber Nova, Casadora into a stunner. Freya is staggered, she's not going down. And now Amber Nova, oh, rolling through into a DDT. Nova with the pin, two. And that was Colby breaking it up. And now Colby Max is on her feet. This is her moment. This is her chance. Amber Nova though, fighting back. Forearm for forearm, strike for strike. Diamante. 
Diamante sending Amber to the outside. Diamante with the code red on Colby. One, two, three. Diamante hitting that code red. It has gotten her so many victories and it got her the win here at WrestleCade for LNO 11. Diamante again proving why she's had the success that she's had. TitleMatchNetwork.com He is sort of a big deal. He is the change man, Chris Carter. <laughs> and introducing his opponent, making her return to Hurricane Pro of Houston, Texas. She is La Lucha Valley and the Ring of Honor veteran, Miss Miranda Allison. We'll talk about a surprise. We knew Chris Carter was going to be involved in action here tonight. We didn't know who his opponent was necessarily going to be until this moment. The returning Miranda Alizé, the Lucha Batty and former Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion. She reigned as the Cruiserweight Champion for over 900 days, but unfortunately had to vacate that championship due to injury. We have not seen Miranda Alizé since. It's great to see her back, back healthy, back in competition. You gotta believe that Miranda wants to get back to her winning ways. And what a great opportunity here. And look, not wasting any time is Miranda trying to roll up Chris Carter. Miranda not uh, working by the hour here. Miranda facing the change Chris Carter here tonight. Hurricane Pro Wrestling. We'll see how much the surprise mixes into the game plans of Chris Carter. He wasn't sure who he was gonna be stepping in the ring with here tonight at Hurricane Pro. And one of the best in Hurricane Pro history, Miranda Alizé, former women's champion and cruiserweight champion in her own right. No stranger to these intergender matchups here. The Lucha Batty. Now looking to lock up here. With the change, Chris Carter. Chris Carter has been seen all over. Independent wrestling from Local Wrestling to PWF to GCW. Makes return here to Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And facing one of Hurricane Pro Wrestling's best. But her at the top of there's a cover here from Miranda. Miranda in her own right, been making a lot of waves. So many appearances of late with Ring of Honor Wrestling. But still considers her home away from home to be right here at Hurricane Pro. And it's great to have Miranda Alizé back to see her grabbing that top rope, creating separation here. And, uh, Again, a stalemate. These two still jockeying for position pretty even so far. And it was interesting to see how tenacious Chris Carter will be in his offense here against Miranda Alizé. You've noticed it's very common for athletes to be a bit trepidatious when they step in the ring with Miranda Alizé. She can come at you with so many different ways. She's got that technical style and, of course, that high-flying technique. And there's the quickness there on display from Miranda, but roll up quickly from Carter. There's a trip up into a cover of her own from Miranda. It goes for a big arm drag, and Miranda watches it wild. Here's a roll up again here from Carter, and Miranda trying to roll into look at that technique. And Two count only, and again, there's another stalemate. Very even matchup here so far. Miranda Alizé has dominated the cruiserweight scene here at Hurricane Pro for some time, and one of the best cruiserweights on the scene here is, of course, Chris Carter, and that's a nice show of respect from Carter, which Miranda clearly wanted to have nothing to do with. She's here to compete. She's here for a fight. And there's head scissors from Miranda taking Carter down. Miranda comes, tries to come crashing in, and Carter moves out of the way. Miranda going up, bottom, middle, up top. Head scissors again, turning Carter inside out, and Carter goes all the way to the outside. And now the Lucha Batty measuring Carter, and this may be a baseball slide, but Carter moves out of position. 
Back and forth, do -si do here we go. DDT, it turns Carter inside out. Cover, hooking both legs and two count only. There's another cover for Miranda, another two count. Now Miranda Alizé looking over at Carter. They look in her face, measuring her opponent, figuring out what her next strike is going to be. Again, Miranda can come out with you in so many different ways. Why she's been such a dominant athlete here at Hurricane. And that's one way to take out your opponent, biting the fingers of Chris Carter. Referee riding in there. And then Miranda just collided in and got those deep strikes. See her rearing back all that force and momentum. Now Lucha batting there with the headbutt. Former Hurricane Pro Women's and former Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion. Now wait a minute, going for almost a 619 there from Carter. Oh! Colliding right there, look at that Tatum office. Oh, looks for Sandy shooting star press. Miranda tries for a while to wait, connected somewhat with his feet on the back of Miranda and went for the cover quickly, but still only a two count. That lightning quick, innovative offense from Carter. Come out of nowhere. You see Miranda down. She might be out of it after that six foot nine on the rope and it's just slamming down Miranda right into the cover. Hooking that far leg out of two. Reference of one. Carter got to stay on offense. Got to stop Miranda in her tracks and stay on offense for Chris Carter. Now trying to position, just picking up Miranda. And just playing it right in the middle. Cover again. You see the frustration of Chris Carter on how to approach the Lucha Batty. Now here's a roll up here from Miranda. And goes for the cover, only two count only from Carter here. And again, a two count. These quick successive covers here. Both looking at the other as a bit of a question mark here. Now Carter using all of that weight on the back of the shoulders of Miranda using that middle rope for extra leverage and referee right in there to warn Carter about using that rope as a weapon, essentially. Force a break before five. Miranda ducks that wild clothesline, goes for another head scissor. Miranda takes down Carter. Now looks to maybe go for, I saw it would be Miranda right, so decides to roll up Carter here in the cover and again. Two can only, oh look at that kick right to the back of the head of Miranda Alizé. The change in the cover and again a two count for the change Chris Carter. Now this time gets in the face of the Hurricane Pro official radio to make sure Chris Carter is a very popular figure in independent wrestling here in the state of Texas. Getting this crap behind him. We typically have always been Firmly behind Miranda and this crowd, really not sure who to back in this matchup here. And now Carter with the vertical suplex maintains control a little. Eddie Guerrero, Three Amigos action here. Texas wrestling legend. Now Wade Miranda putting the brakes on it though. Looks to maybe go for a vertical suplex of her own. Now these two jockeying for leverage here. And the vertical suplex up, but it's Miranda that wins out. Goes right into the cover here, looks at near leg, and two count only. You see Miranda slapping that mat. This return here at Hurricane Pro is not going the way that the Lucha Batty probably expected. Testament to Miranda, she hasn't missed a beat from her time away due to injury. Miranda Alizé returning here tonight at Hurricane Pro, goes up and over onto Chris Carter, and then again using head scissors, again to her advantage in the story of this matchup, but there's that big discus clothesline from Carter. Another cover here, and, and look at the frustration again on the face of Carter. He believed that was it, and this match will continue. We're live here on Title Match Network. Chris Carter now looking to take the game up a notch. Going to the outside, stepping up. Chris Carter's the name and high flying is his game. And what is 
the change. Chris Carter thinking here, well, uh, we might not ever know. Miranda putting the brakes on it. Miranda Alizé catching Chris Carter up on the top. He's not sitting on that, that ring post. This is a not good place to be spending your Saturday night here in Beaumont, Texas. These two fighting on the top ropes. Referee right in there trying to get these two superstars down. And now the Lucha Batty looking to maybe set up Carter for a super box off the top. Falling up Carter, but... How much damage did Miranda do to herself to take out Carter? Both Miranda and Carter down. We are live on title match number for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Miranda Alizé and her return from injury here at Hurricane Pro. The former Cruiserweight Champion. Can she get out of the blocks? Or is it going to be the change Chris Carter to get to his feet first? And look at the hip bump from Carter. That second win from out of nowhere. And there's a big ball back elbow. These two back up. There's a lot left in the tank of both these superstars. And Miranda Alizé just lighting up Carter here. Look at the fire from the Lucha Batty. Oh! Back elbow cuts off that uppercut. Oh! And Alizé, Carter back and forth, back and forth, back and forth we go. Looks for the Connor connects. Almost a stunner there. Miranda might be, Miranda might be out of it. No, wait a minute. Miranda just barely, barely getting that shoulder up. Maintain knee control on that ripcord knee from Miranda. Putting Carter up on her shoulders. Just drops him down, knee right to the face. Is that everything? No, Carter again able to get the shoulder up. And look at the face of Miranda Alizé. She is beside herself here. This match is going to keep going. You, gotta, you can't get frustrated. You got to stay focused on your opponent. Miranda putting Carter again in position. And... Maybe took too much time on offense there. Carter, look, flipping out of that. Big kick, right connects. Carter going up again. Dancing off that top rope. Big chance connection. Oh, well, wait a minute. I think Moran was able to reverse out of that. And Carter goes to the outside now. Moran throwing Carter back into the ring. And God, this is going back and forth, back and forth. Miranda going in, maybe looking for that big knee, but Carter moves out of the way. Reversal again. There's the cutter from Miranda. And there's the Wizzy. The Wizzy connects, and that's it. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com The following contest is for a Sabotage Tag Team Championship. Introducing first in my left corner, the challengers from Chicago, Illinois, the Academic Standard GPA, and the Wild Unicorn Lady!
I think we drinks, drinks.
Titlematchnetwork.com Mr. Martinez is not here tonight. He is not here tonight. None of the Federated members are joining Christina Marie. No. But I feel that's something that she she actually told him backstage that she wanted yes. to face Megan Bain on her own. Mm -hmm. She believes in herself and her ability to beat Megan Bain. And tonight, we'll see if that happens. Right. Oh! Attack! That's a very Federated thing. There you go. Way. Attacking the bigger Megan Bain. Very aggressive. You've got to give her Christina yes. Marie credit. She's bringing that aggression. She needed that. She definitely needs that because she doesn't have the size advantage. And very rarely does she not have the strength advantage. But she does. Big wow. clothesline for Megan Bain. Big, Jesus. Another clothesline. Megan Bain showcasing her tenacity. Whip to the corner. Rope, sorry. Big body slam. Wow. With some emphasis on that. You got some China. You got some Beth Phoenix. Some Wonder Woman, some Amazon. <laughs> I think Gino's back. She's got a badass in there. Christina Marie hanging her up to dry. Christina Marie is here? She's in the ring. Christina Marie. Oh, oh she tried to cross body. It didn't work. Uh, you know? Whoa, <laughs> a slam with authority by Megan Bain. Pulls her into the middle. Smart Hello. move. Hooks the leg. Megan Bain only has a few years of experience. Only. But to tell you the truth, like, she wrestles. Very much like somebody who's yes. been around for a while. Very smart with her ring positioning. <laughs> Whips Christina Marie into the corner with authority. Christina Marie, wow, he's that turnbuckle. Now correct me Back oh! by Gina Marie. But Christina Megan, Marie. Megan Bain has been out with injury for some time. Yes. This is one of her first couple matches back. This is her Absolutely. first match back That's from injury. That's what I had said. This is her first back match. Back match? All right, you, well, you, listen, you let Joe and I handle this. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're still rocked. Oh, my God. <laughs> Christina Marie heckling the crowd. I mean, they do suck. Christina Marie putting, just showcasing the aggression. Yes. Listen, fault is considered, I know that you're not a fan of the fact that she's with Federated. No. But I do believe that that's kind of helping her. Mm -hmm. I, I feel, she, I always, listen, I always said about Christina Marie, so much potential. Yes. So much potential. Yes. It just, I think the lack of aggression, Probably held her back for a while. Yeah, and that changed ever since she joined Federated. She's been unbelievably aggressive. Mr. Martinez has been in her ear. Be the villain. Don't be liked. 
Forget what everybody says. Go out there, cash your Beautiful checks, drop win kick. your matches, hit drop kicks like that, and do what you gotta do. That drop kick was picture perfect. Hey, listen, one thing I have to admire about both these athletes, they're hooking the leg. They are putting all the urgency yes. and making sure they put that weight, that body weight, on their opponent's shoulders, making it harder and harder for their opponents to kick out. It's very smart wrestling, guys. Very much so. Christina Marie has been around for a while. Absolutely. And I, she's always been powerful. Right. She has never been in the physical shape she is in right now. No, you're right. She's powerful. She is lean. She is cut up. She is at the top of her game. Great this, this is something that needs to be said. Chris, Big slash for Christina Chris, Marie. No, Christina Marie is the only competitor to be at every single WCW. That Absolutely. I mean, oh, hey, wow. it back, almost folds. Megan Bain, that's impressive. Yes. Uh, Kick out from Bain. Bain will not be denied. I remember me and Layla beat her. I, I don't believe that to I, be the case. That, that yeah, I don't yeah, think that worked no. out. I'm pretty sure that's what no. happened. No. Christina Marie is showcasing. I, listen, I admire the fact that Christina's found that confidence, but she has to find a way to beat Megan Bain. This is not a win-win situation for oh. her. Bain popping back up oh with those forearms. God. Big chop from Bain. So, like, who doesn't hit hard on this roster? Everybody does. That's Jesus. the whole point. She's going for a suplex. Go behind by Christina Marie. She goes. Big oh, German oh, suplex. Oh, German. Suplex. Bridges. Oh, Bridges. Christina Marie needs to watch her own shoulders. Yeah, she almost got covered herself. Yeah, Nick Shin, very, very smart. Made sure that the shoulders yeah. were on the canvas before counting. That is a sign of a very well-trained referee, yes. I should say, or official. Really? I, I love that both of these two have been going all out. It's like it's been back and forth. But I will say that the early jump start yeah. may have thrown Megan Bain's game it's, off I mean, just a little bit. She's, she's rusty. This is her first match back. This isn't just some Saturday afternoon indie show. No. This is a main event of the year. All these women, all these fans look forward to this every year. It has become an icon of the look year. Look at the power. Beautiful body slam. It's so emphatic yep. with that. And these women showing off for everybody they know is watching. Christina Marie has her fans here in Brooklyn, New York, without a doubt. Yes, for Again, sure. Again, she's been to all three WCWs. Yeah, right. She was a lot of first year at Battle Club. Uh, she was in at the first WCW. She was at the first outdoor show. This is the first outdoor show of 2023. She was in like an eight-way in the first one. Right. And then we beat her in the second one. So your memory's not incredibly shot from that slap. Right, it's, it's still shot because he's talking about he beat her, and that's oh, not what happened. Don't ask me who was in the eight-way. Oh, here we go. Chicken wing suplex. Well executed Beautiful. by Megan Bain. I mean, just such an improvement yes. from this athlete. What's going to happen here? What is Megan Bain doing? Hitting the ropes. Oh, she went Misses the senton. That, that, was, that was like a uh, mysterious, mysterious cue that just springing right off the rope into it. The fans here in Brooklyn, New York coming alive. We are here emanating from Brooklyn, New York for WCW3. Best we have Christina style. Marie versus... The Megasis, Megan Bain, making her debut here tonight. Megan Bain riling up the crowd. She may have her opponent where she wants her. Big clothesline. Oh. Full speed ahead. Shoots her right into the corner. Oh Another clothesline. Practically brings her down. Reversal oh. for Christina Marie. Oh. Not for nothing, boss, but you got to be watching this match. Yeah, for sure. Like the winner is stepping right up in line for that icon's title. If I if I am oh, cosmic, look at this. If I'm cosmic, I'm watching this whole show. I have to be. You have to be. If I'm cosmic. I'm getting a happy bit right now. She did it. There we job. go. Oh, Big that Senton. shot is flash. Oh, that was very close. Very Christina close. Marie cutting cl very close. Maybe she should have had Federated out here. I don't know. I kind of like it without them around. Christina Marie getting a lot of fanfare here tonight. Oh, she's got her up. Looking for that finish. Oh, oh look at Christina now. Oh! Count Who's going to win it? Who's going to win it tonight, Joe? These guys are going, these these two, are going back and forth. These two, these two yeah, athletes obviously. have been going back and forth now for, for over 10 minutes. Yeah, it's got to be. And it's just been at such a high intensity, high pace. Block. Oh, Look like she went for big elbows Samoan. from Megan Bain. Oh, oh spear! spear! Nowhere! Spear! That's a finish! 
Oh, Kevin they got kicked it over. out. Barely kicks out. You gotta be kidding me. Christina Marie is beside herself. I don't think she could believe no. that Megan Bay still had enough in her tank. Christina Marie has been blowing down other women throughout the Northeast with that spear. Megan Bain not down for the three though. No, and look, Christina Marie again going back to putting a lot of pressure on the ability from Megan Bay to breathe, cutting down that cardiovascular conditioning. When in doubt, choke a bitch out. <laughs> What's gonna happen here? Oh, look at Megan! Megan the power! Bain. What power? Oh my goodness! Jesus. What a move! Is this it? Here's your winner! Megan Bain! Putting an exclamation point now, on her debut here at Battle Club Pro Wrestling. That was an emphatic win by the Megasis. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com But, you know, Becca is coming off of recent tours of Europe and the UK, competing with WXW in Germany, competing in Spain, which is the home of Sarah Leon, both very familiar with RCW Ugh, over there, sick. showing okay. some, some mutual respect, some honor here. Also, the UK is a toilet. Let's talk about that later. Oh, jeez. Rebecca J. Scott with very valid or very vocal <laughs> opinions, not valid vocal opinions that do not reflect upon Capital Championship Wrestling. It's now Sarah Leone trying to get some control, but weaving out is Rebe uh, Becca. B3CCA to be exact. Bethrika. <laughs> Both jockeying for control here. These rear waist locks, both internationally traveled, as we said. Sarah Leone does most of her competition in her home of Spain. Wow, Becca showing impressive. I feel Rolling like they're the both arm annoying right now. I don't Ugh. You had such nice things to say at first about Becca's attitude. Yeah, but now she's just, now it's the showboating and everything else, I don't, uh. You like people that are direct over. and to the point, I Yeah, suppose. just punch each other in the face, and then whoever punches harder, that's, you know, let's, let's leave it at that. Deep oh. arm drags a bypass, dodging the drop kick is Becca. Headlock takeover, grinding down, but head scissors now, forcing some distance between the Red Lion and the Pop Star, but right back into it. She took it right back. And look how, how equally matched. Just having answers for one another's questions, weaving around one another, sizing each other up in this first outing against each other. Of course, Becca, not, you know, you gotta mention the fact that it's one half of the first ever Capital Cup Tag Team Tournament winners with Riley Shepard last year, stepped in for Devlin Macabre, who was unable to compete. So being here at the Capital Cup, though not in Capital Cup Tournament competition, is a very, a very familiar place for Becca. Now, Sarah Leon backing up Becca, using the momentum of the ropes. Oh, a hip toss. The problem with this is Sarah, cover. Yep. Sarah showed up here at my house in Capital Championship Wrestling and immediately tried to challenge me for the belt. So I just, Quick I cover. really don't want her to win this. Yeah, how did that feel? Because it's cause disrespectful. It's just, I've been here since day one. She shows up and then comes straight. I, did, I had nothing to do with her, had never spoken to her. She shows up and just challenges for, she wants my cha my championship. There's no way, not here, not the one. Well, do you think that maybe in Sarah Leon's mind, she is a global competitor and wanted to go right for the global fighting champion? Like I told her last time, I respect the hustle. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's Fighting a, that's down. A, Speaking of the, the grind is real. Yeah, you don't want you don't want Sarah to take you to the ground. Definitely a dangerous place to be, but I mean Sarah can also scale to great heights as well. But Becca now dishing her into the corner, sent up and over. Oh, but hung up, throw first over that top rope, and, and now clutching at her jaw. But Becca's up on that top turnbuckle. Oh, big crossbody off the top rope and went right into the cover, but it was not enough to keep the Red Lion down. Looks like we got another cockroach on our hands. Of course, by that, 
Our dance is talking about the resilience of Sarah Leone. I, I would think it's more comparable to that of a lion than of a cockroach. Just yeah, a lot of thing. courage, fortitude. Tomato, tomato. And now the international pop sensation taking a tour of the ring here. Cartwheeling. Oh, she's just slugging away at Sarah Leone. <laughs> Put a little stank on it. <laughs> Most certainly did the hook of the leg, but it is not enough. We need to get this over with so I can have my RJS celebration. That's coming up soon, and I cannot wait. I hope they have banners and balloons and a cake and everything else that I deserve. So we need to get this over with. Becca needs to tap her out already or something. Well, you certainly do have lots to celebrate as the global fighting champion. But meanwhile, two international sensations, two international fighters. Bearing down is Becca. You can see just wrenching. Look at the torque on the arm, the shoulder. Yeah, both of them. You know that hurts. Sarah Leon now. Able to, to shift her body and, and reverse she it. Reverse it. Oh. Oh, all the way through, though. Now able to, to stretch out those arms. Oh. oh. See, Becco does what she needs to do in the moment. She doesn't play by the rules all the time. Oh, but that was a backhand chop to the midsection. She returned the favor. Oof. I think Becca was more ticked off than, than harmed by that one. Yeah, that, that, that forearm looked ferocious some damage to her hand in the process. Swinging for the absolute fences. Now scooped up. Ooh. Slammed down. <laughs> Becca, buff Becca now. Oh, oh looking for the senton. Missed it. So wise of Sarah Leone had the wherewithal to duck out of harm's way and now Taking just laying it in. in. But one shot from Becca staggers back the Red Lion. Becca's got a mean right hook, I'll say that. Whoa, 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 but now, oh, Rana takes Becca down. And Becca now trying to figure out which way is up, but There's suplexed super. over. Oh, oh, and again, once more with feeling. That might be it. And straight into the cover, but. Good. Whew. Desperately close. I mean, RJS does it seem. Are you are you rooting for Becca in this matchup? At this point, listen. I know Sarah, and I know what she's going to come for. She gets this victory. I can't let that happen. Again, I, it's admirable. I, I appreciate the fact that she wants gold. She wants to take gold home. But it, it's just not going to be my gold. She definitely did have her eyes set on the global fighting championship at the start of 2023 at Live or Die against herself. But now Becca. Oh, jeez. Back elbow right to the orbital bone. She's dazed and confused. Snapmare takes Sarah Leone. Staggers back to her feet. Wiped out by Becca. Trying to make sure that her jaw is still attached is the Red Lion. This is a hard-hitting match. I don't think we expected anything less from these two competitors. Now that senton connecting. Taking all the air out of the lungs. And Becca spring it oh, up. Into the it. cover. Oh, come on. Unbelievable. I don't know where Sarah Leone is finding. That was three. This, this ref is crooked. I can wholeheartedly say that. First hand, I've seen it done so many times. Nick needs to be fired. Nick Shin needs to be fired. Cancel Nick Shin, everybody. No, uh, we're not doing that again. The views of RJS are specifically that of the two-time global fighting champion, Rebecca J. Scott, and not of Capital Championship Wrestling. Nick Shin is, is doing his, his darndest and doing a great job of it, observing and enforcing the rules of this matchup. Now, Oh, <laughs> okay, this is how a pop star does it. Oh, a boot. boot right to the face. <laughs> now up on the shoulders of, of Becca. Oh, oh, wait a second, weaves her way out to Sara Leon. Imparting her own damage now. And that's, you know, the backdrop driver almost. And Sarah now. Climbing up to her feet. I think I need a little bit of a 
closer look. A little bit of a closer look. What? Okay, Re Rebecca Scott has... Jesus! The lion kick, the missile drop kick! Rebecca J. Scott has just walked away from the commentary table. K Katrina Storm, I'm, I'm back on with K Katrina Storm now. Katrina, what are you making of this hard-hitting matchup so far? Both ladies are absolutely fantastic. Becca really giving her all, but Saver not really faltering either. Certainly sizing up one another, just absolutely slugging. And that kick straight to the, the chest. Oh, jeez. Caught the, the leg. Just careening forehead to forehead. A bit of a sacrifice play, but now... Can she step over? Can she lock in this submission? Looks like it's locked in. Boston Crab, Rebecca Leon in a, a compromised position. All of that... That pressure bearing on the lower back, but she's reaching out. Sarah has taken a lot of punishment during this match. Becca has not let up on her, but it still seems like she's hanging on. Up away now, dragged away from that bottom rope, sitting all the way into the submission hold. Definitely smart by Becca moving Sarah into the middle of the ring. That's somebody who knows they wait around the ring. But now untangling that up kick from Sarah Leone, doubles back Becca, and now getting back up to her feet, but you can see the damage done to the lower back. Geez, both connecting with forearm shots. Oh, the high oh. kicks, they're oh, both wow. down. Holy hell. Fantastic performance by both ladies. The audience is behind. I feel like I can't even tell who they're going for. Fans definitely maybe split, but Nick Shin more than halfway through his count. At a, at a nine count, but now both back up to their knees. The, the matchup continues. Oh, geez, slugging back and forth. Jeez, absolutely dishing it. I can't tell which lady wants this win more. Both women are like going at each other, hard hitting. No doubt about that. No, no shortage of ferocity from either competitor. Now that, that rear waist lock is on from Becca. But finding a way to anchor herself and now the reversal. Both scrambling for position. The stunner connecting. Sarah is still not actually standing, but she's still going. It's an amazing how much tenacity she has. Oh, jeez, but the big boot from the pop star connects. You can see Becca absolutely ferocious in this matchup. Sarah now, she's struggling. But Becca urging her back to her feet. This matchup continues on. Oh, ducks that high kick. Oh, that suplex. Shoulders not completely down, and that could have been a, a precious opportunity. Sarah Leon trying to bridge right into it. Sarah is exhausted. It's obvious why she wasn't able to go for that pin, but again, very tenacious. Oh, Through the ropes and the knee connects to Sarah Leon. Oh, wait, wait. A very precarious place. The pop star and the red lion right on the apron. Back and forth, jockey for position here. But the forearm shot, a sharp one. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Rebecca J. Scott dragging them both off of the apron. Well, that's unfortunate. Come on, RJS said she wanted to get a closer look, but now has interfered in the matchup. What the hell? I was hoping Rebecca would go get a closer look to Scout. Oh, Miss Missy Sampson. Whoa! Jeez! Oh. Since clearly you want to get involved with Sarah and Becca, when CCW returns to the Monster 
factory on August 5th, there will be a three-way match. Well, okay. Oh, and your global fighting championship is on the line. Oh, well, that's what we like to hear. That is for oh. her. What? And Rebecca, one more thing. Hey, Rebecca. Due to your own sportsman-like conduct, your celebration this evening is canceled. Oh. Raining on the parade of the two-time global fighting champion. I think it's I think it's fair considering definitely fair. You know, she said she wanted to take a closer look. Completely messed up a match that was going so well. May I add? Ladies, save it for August fifth. Becca, never. August fifth, blood in the sand, ready at the Monster Factory. Wow, I mean, that was a hellacious bout that we were seeing between Becca and Sara Leone right here at the Capital Cup. This is sportsmanship right here. Both ladies gave it their all, and even though we didn't get a winner, they still showed respect to each other. Well, I'm certainly glad that we're going to see this matchup run back with the addition of the Global Fighting Champion and the Global Fighting Championship on the line. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com Introducing first, from Houston, Texas, she is the powerhouse, Charity King! And introducing her opponent, from Fort Worth, Texas, she is the undeniable Emmy! <laughs> All right, here we go. Women's Division action live on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. As the powerhouse Charity King takes on undeniable Emmy Camacho 101 action. And there you see why they call Charity King the powerhouse on full display right from the get go. Charity King did not come here to play. She's here to win championship and to dominate the women's division of Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And Emmy Camacho better watch out. This is Emmy Camacho's first appearance here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And she might have bit off more than she can chew as Cherry King is in the mood here tonight. But Emmy Camacho, to her credit, not backing down here. Women's wrestling has been the premier division here on Title Match Network and Hurricane Pro. One of the best places to see the best in women's wrestling. You know that Danny B will be defending her Hurricane Pro uh, Women's Championship later on tonight. And once upon a time, she and Charity King were the best of friends. And Charity King still a chip on her shoulder that she is not walking around with the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship around her waist, and that attitude might get the best of her as you see Emmy Camacho taking advantage of the hubris of powerhouse Charity King, but I don't know how smart it is for Emmy to, well, I, I say like, use, instead of using that power, using that technique, and was able to maneuver Charity King all the way down to the canvas, and Charity King isn't careful. Emmy Camacho could Move, maneuver this into a pinning combination. Charity working her way back up to a vertical base here. And he's stomping on the foot. And now takes advantage. Muscle and pain. Charity King never saw a rule she wouldn't bend or break to get her way. And undeniable Emmy Camacho is going to have to do her best to take advantage. But again, there's the power on display from Charity King. Strength for strength, pound for pound, Charity King, one of the most dominant women in this vision in her young career. Now looking to teach a lesson to Emmy Camacho, but Emmy got that foot up there. Not trying to Irish whip, I'm not sure how smart that was. Reversal there from Charity King, but up and over goes Emmy. 
And now look at that deep arm drag from the undeniable Emmy Camacho. And there's another one. And look at that. Oh, maybe went to the well one too many times. Charity King caught her here. Goes for a big clothesline. Emmy able to duck it. Ducks again. Up and over. Head scissors. Oh, Tilt the World takes Charity King down. There's a reason why Emmy Camacho has won championships all over the state of Texas. She's won titles for WAW, BIW, Sabotage Wrestling. But even is that enough? Sherry King caught her and oh my god, backbreaker. Knee right to the spine of Emmy Camacho. Look at how proud Charity King is of her work with feigning the injury, making fun of the, the back. That's in clearly a bad way after that backbreaker from Charity King. The powerhouse Charity just woman handling Emmy all across this ring here in Ford Park. And again, tossing her like a rag doll. Charity King just dominating here. Goes for the cover, tries to end it. Charity got a two count. Emmy's got a lot more fight left here, and he got that hand right to the back of the head. The disrespect on full display from Charity King. Charity King, he feels she's the rifle Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. And it's easy to see why with this dominant performance thus far. Charity King wants to dominate the women's division, not just here at Hurricane Pro, but all across the nation. Big overhand chop, right to the chest of Amy Kamasha. Jerry King's still young, her career goes colliding, and again, Emmy able to move out of the way. Side Russian leg sweep connects here. Goes for the cover quickly, quickly does Emmy, and two count only. The big clothesline takes Emmy Camacho down. Into the cover again. Hooks both legs. And Hurricane Pro official radio got a two count only. Best in women's wrestling again right here on Title Match Network as you can see on display right here, right now for Hurricane Pro. As you see again, Charity driving that knee right back into the spine. With Emmy Camacho putting oh, extra pressure on the undeniable Emmy Camacho. Who's trying to feel off this crowd, trying to fight from underneath here, trying to maneuver her back so she's got that knee right to the side of her Emmy Camacho here. Really needs to get back up to vertical base. She does, but can she break free of the Titan grip of Charity King? Oh, there's a face buster there. That'll do it. Now Emmy's got to catch some momentum. She's going to take out the powerhouse. And look, Big Luth, that press takes King down. Wailing on top of his forearms. Cherry King wants nothing to do it. Look at that big clothesline. And there's another one. Emmy's the house of fire here. Goes for the cutter and connects. Oh my God. Emmy Camacho goes in for the cover. Is that enough? And oh, Charity got the shoulder up. Woo! You see Emmy with the referee asking if that was three. He's saying it was a two. That was a great offensive flurry from Emmy Camacho. And I think Charity King is just as surprised as everyone else here. Emmy Camacho showing a lot of fire and now taking things up a notch. Going up top to the top rope, high risk district. Will she connect? Big cross body. But Cherry King trying to catch her. She got caught to a pity combination and got a two count only again for Emmy. Great fire, great desire from Emmy Camacho. Will she be undeniable here tonight at Hurricane Pro? Cherry King caught her up, picks her back up, and goes to a, looking for a sidewalk slam there, but Emmy tried to reverse it. And look, trying to extension in, and she connects with the cross face. The cross face connects. Will Charity King tap out? Muscle and pain, Charity King, how much pain can she endure? 
You can see Charity crawling, crawling as far as she can, trying to get to that bottom rope, but she's a long way away. Right, right there to see. I was prepared coming in this matchup for Charity King to dominate, but Emmy Camacho has brought a lot of fight to Charity King. And Charity King, again, still trying to crawl, still in this, hasn't tapped out yet. Still a lot of fight in the powerhouse. Reaching for that bottom rope, she just barely grabs it. Which will force Emmy Camacho to make the break. Oh, and then King. Great ring awareness, throwing throat first, Emmy Camacho in that middle rope, and there's the big powerhouse slam. Cover here, and that's it. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com And that title around the shoulder of Jordan Grace is the Impact Wrestling Digital Media Championship, which Jordan held at the time of WrestleCade. She has since become Impact Knockouts Champion for the second time in her second reign. And Jordan has headlined several LNO events in the past against Sue Young, Penelope Ford, Miranda Alizé, just a who's who of women's wrestling. Show of respect for these two. They have known each other for a very long time. Kira immediately going for the head, but the strength of Jordan Grace will not be denied. Oh, but DM takeover. Wow. D I am shocked. I thought that Jordan Grace, with the strength advantage, had this in hand in the early moments, but Kira Hogan has turned things around immediately and oh, 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 oh. Kick to the face by Hogan. And she wants this win and she wants it bad. Hogan with the low tope driving Jordan Grace to the floor. And again, I thought Jordan would have the early advantage, but this has been all Kiera Hogan. The hottest flame with the cover. And look at, you can see that Jordan is just a little frustrated because I think she thought that she would have the early advantage as well. Whoa, ducking the kick is Grace. Oh, Jordan with that big tackle and there is that strength. There is that power. Now ramming Hogan into the buckle. Oh, Hogan out of the way. Jordan with the boot up. And again, running her into that buckle. And Kira Hogan in trouble. Big double knees. And that sliding elbow. Trademark combination from Jordan Grace. Now going up for the Vader bomb. This could be over right now. One, two, no. Uh, again, the resiliency of Kira Hogan on display, showing why she is a baddie. But Jordan, back in control, big forearm. And you can hear the fans here at WrestleCade are really unable to choose a favorite. Now, Jordan loading up that trademark muscle buster. She has used that to such effect. Oh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, like nothing. And again, these two are friends. Imagine how Jordan Grace treats her enemies. And now Grace with the cover.
Jordan now loading up Hogan, going for a power bomb. But wait, Kira, Kira fighting a head scissors takedown. And a big drop kick launches Jordan into the buckles. Kira Hogan is fired up and she's getting everyone here fired up. Running hip check. But Kira not done. Whoa. Sliding kick through the face of Jordan Grace. Oh, she's going for one more. She really wants this win. She really wants this victory. Around the world one more time. And you could hear that kick connect. I think this is gonna be enough. One, two, Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace kicking out and you can see Kira can't believe it. We heard the way those kicks connected. Low super kick, wait, got caught, got caught. Jordan out of the way, the Insiguri. Rolling through. O'Connor roll, oh, deadlift German. Just the strength and power of Jordan Grace is incredible. No matter how many times you've seen it, it is unbelievable every single match. Going for that pump handle driver, but Hogan fighting through. Oh, what a roundhouse. Jordan down on a knee, Jordan on her hands and knees, and Kira step up leg drop. There's a cover. Again, Jordan kicking out and kicking out with authority, but eating that low super kick. No. And Kiera, Kiera needs to stay on top of Jordan here. Oh, but Jordan Grace, oh! Kiera turned that into a DDT and Jordan held on, but big elbow. Now Jordan with the pump handle. Incredible match by, again, two of the best, the absolute best. And you can see they bring out, and to me personally, this is me speaking as a fan, I think that Kira Hogan and Jordan Grace, they just constantly bring out the best in each other. And it is always a pleasure to watch them fight Jordan with the win today. But again, I would happily call 100 matches between these two. Title match network.